could the colossal wave from Interstellar actually exist? If you've seen the movie, you know the scene. Cooper, Brand, and the crew land on Miller's planet, where a monstrous wave taller than any skyscraper dominates the horizon. But how much of this is Hollywood magic? And how much is real science? Join me as we explore black holes, tidal forces, and the universe's possibilities to find out. Picture this. You're on an alien planet, searching for a new home for humanity. The landscape is both awe-inspiring and intimidating. With towering mountains and vast, desolate plains stretching as far as the eye can see. The air is thick with mystery, and every step you take feels like a journey into the unknown. The catch? This planet is in the grip of a supermassive black hole. And time is flowing at a snail's pace compared to Earth. The gravitational pull is so intense that it warps the very fabric of time and space. What feels like mere minutes to you could mean years passing by on Earth. Every hour you spend here equals years back home. Imagine the pressure of knowing that every second counts, not just for you, but for everyone you left behind. The urgency is palpable and the stakes couldn't be higher. As if time dilation wasn't enough, Miller's planet has another nasty surprise. A colossal wave dwarfing anything we've ever seen before. These waves are not just tall, they are towering walls of water capable of swallowing entire landscapes in an instant. This isn't just some rogue wave, it's a relentless planet engulfing tsunami. The sheer force and magnitude of these waves are beyond comprehension, making survival a constant battle against nature's fury. It's a constant threat to the crew's mission, forcing them to make a daring escape against the clock. Every decision you make is a threat to the planet, every decision. Every move is a race against time and the elements. The crew must navigate this treacherous environment with precision and courage, knowing that one wrong step could mean the end of their mission and their lives. So what could cause such a monstrous wave? The answer lies in the heart of that cosmic titan, Gargantua, the supermassive black hole. Black holes aren't just cosmic vacuum cleaners, they're massive gravitational wells warping space-time. Imagine a planet like Miller's caught in the gravitational pull of such a behemoth. The tidal forces at play would be unlike anything we experience here on Earth, generating these colossal waves. Gargantua's gravity is the culprit behind this epic wave. To understand the forces at play, we need to delve into tidal forces. Tidal forces arise because gravity's pull isn't uniform. The side of an object closer to a massive body experiences a stronger gravitational pull than the side farther away. On Earth, we see this with our oceans. The moon's gravitational pull causes the water to bulge outwards, creating high tides. The same thing happens on the opposite side of Earth due to inertia. Could a wave of this magnitude actually exist in the universe? The answer is complicated. While it might seem like pure science fiction, the reality is that the universe is full of surprises and extreme phenomena that can sometimes defy our expectations. The laws of physics don't forbid such massive waves. In fact, the universe operates under principles that allow for some truly mind-boggling events. Waves of immense size can theoretically form under the right conditions. Extreme gravity exists thanks to black holes and tidal forces can be incredibly powerful. These forces can distort space and time, creating environments where massive waves could potentially form. However, to create a wave like an interstellar, 
you'd need a very specific, improbable set of circumstances. The alignment of a planet's orbit, the presence of a supermassive black hole, and the right amount of liquid water are all crucial factors. A planet would need to orbit incredibly close to a supermassive black hole, much closer than the habitable zone. This proximity would expose the planet to intense gravitational forces, which could generate enormous tidal waves. That planet would also need a significant amount of liquid water for the tidal forces to generate such a massive wave. Without a vast ocean, the gravitational pull wouldn't be able to create the towering waves depicted in the movie. So, while it's not entirely impossible, the chances are astronomically low. A planet would need to be in a precarious position, teetering on the edge of stability, to experience a wave like the one on Miller's planet. These waves, towering and relentless, are a result of the immense gravitational pull exerted by a nearby black hole. Hypothetically, if such a planet did exist, it would be subjected to forces beyond our current understanding. What would it be like to orbit a black hole that closely? The planet would be caught in a delicate dance, constantly battling the pull of the black hole. The gravitational forces would be immense, pulling at the planet with a strength that could tear it apart. Stretching and squeezing the planet, these forces would create extreme tidal effects. Tidal forces wouldn't just create waves, they would reshape the planet's surface, causing massive geological upheavals. They'd cause intense volcanic activity, earthquakes, and other seismic events that could drastically alter the planet's landscape and potentially rip the planet apart, breaking it into pieces that would be swallowed by the black hole. Even if a planet could survive in such proximity, it would be under constant threat from the black hole's gravity. The intense gravity would have other strange effects, warping time and space around the planet. The environment would be extremely hostile, with conditions that would make it nearly impossible for life as we know it to exist. Imagine a planet where the ground is constantly in motion and waves taller than mountains rise and fall. Could life, even in its most extreme forms, ever take hold in such a chaotic environment. Life is incredibly adaptable, thriving in extreme conditions on Earth. But a planet with constant planet-sized waves presents new challenges. The sheer force of these waves would make it nearly impossible for any life to gain a foothold on land. Not exactly ideal conditions for building a civilization or even a simple ecosystem. Interstellar is a work of fiction, but it's deeply rooted in real science, thanks to physicist Kip Thorne. While the wave on Miller's planet might seem like Hollywood exaggeration, the underlying scientific principles are sound. The wave on Miller's planet is one of the most visually stunning depictions of cosmic forces in cinema. But there are other catastrophic events in the universe that make it look like a ripple in a pond. Supernovae, for example, are cosmic explosions that can outshine entire galaxies. If a supernova occurred relatively close to Earth, the blast of radiation would be intense enough to strip away our atmosphere. Science fiction ignites our imaginations, making us think about the universe in new ways. Movies like Interstellar serve as a reminder of the vastness and mystery of the cosmos. They bridge the gap between scientific understanding and the human experience, making complex fields accessible to a wider audience. We've explored the science behind the wave, the challenges of surviving in such an extreme environment, and the power of science fiction. What do you think? Could a wave like the one in Interstellar actually exist? Share your thoughts in the comments. The universe is full of wonders waiting to be discovered. Keep exploring and never stop looking up at the stars. We've reached the end of our journey through the science of Interstellar's epic wave. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the cosmos, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. Keep those brains engaged, imaginations firing, and never stop questioning the universe. Until next time, keep looking up.